three in a classic. For Nick Bond, John Fanta. Time now to send it out to Providence, where the Friars host Rhode Island. Welcome those of you on FS1 joining us here in Providence, Rhode Island. Dave Sims, Ben Parisi with you. Rhode Island on the road at Providence. These two schools separated by 30 miles. It's an intense rivalry over the years. Providence has dominated most of the time as Carter comes up with the rebound. First few minutes for Archie Miller's gang offensively. How they compose themselves is key. They are really glad to have Pierre back, number one at the point. Over in the corner, Carter. Shot clock inside of 10. Odora denied at the basket. Nicely done by Tyson Brown. Good offense, better defense. Kim English in his first year, star player at Missouri, had a good run at George Mason. And he has apprenticed under some good coaches. Rick Barnes among the Tennessee coach. So Jaden Pierre there off that penetration. He's been out with that tweak, groin injury. Back in the mix tonight, he adds another dimension to the Friars on the perimeter. First few minutes going to be key at this atmosphere here. Rhodey, see if they can get something going. The V folks have been out of Austin. It's ticket games comes down with the rebound. And they're Robinson. not sitting down. Not at all. I was about to say, here's Hopkins. Deep corner three. In and out. Until that first bucket goes for the black and white. Nate Montgomery over to Jaden House. Here's House. Blocked by Carter. Devin Carter. Kim English said he's one of the most intense performers he's ever played with, against, or coached. And there's a foul. That last possession was a perfect example as to why Devin Carter is one of the best defenders in the nation. He could guard one through five. Contains dribble penetration, bangs down low with posts, blocks more guards, jumpers on the perimeter than you'll see. Big Montgomery at the foul, his Carter way outside. Goes glass and scores, and the Providence fans can take their seat. And that dimension of his game has gone to another level from last season. The perimeter touch. Lead the post down low. Nicely done. Good operation. Tyson Brown finishes it off. Good feed by Fuchs. And a play by the Rams. Kind of high percentage look on the high low. Carter outside Oduro. The big man down the lane. Challenging left hand. No. And the rebound taken out by Tyson Brown. Oduro is so comfortable in face up situations. For a big with the ball on his hands out near the arc. Louis Courtright outside is good for three. A 30% three point shooter from last year off to a tough start this year is now four for 16. Montgomery will be huge for what the Rams do offensively, but when Courtright compliments them, that's when they're at their best offensively. Here's Oduro. He torched Rhode Island twice last year. He's a transfer. Came up from George Mason with Kim English. Fouls on Tyson Brown, his first team second. Archie Miller, great shooter at North Carolina State in his second year here with Rhode Island after being at Dayton and at Indiana. His second year, he's feeling like with the influx of new players. Feels like the first year again, but with the returners a little more cohesive in terms of what they, they're trying to do. Odoro is inside and the foul. Tyson Brown picks up the foul, his second team third. This prior team is so effective on their baseline out of bounds plays underneath. They screen bodies and they got bigs like Hopkins and Odoro down low that have great hands and soft touch around the cup. You and I were talking about Odoro, how he has a chance to impact here in the Big East to be one of the better centers, one of the big, best five men in the game. Boy, he was one of the best in the Atlantic 10, and Archie Miller was talking earlier today about him as to how tough of a matchup he is. He's strong in the paint, and then such a terrific passer out of the high post with face-up touch. 6-5 lead, Providence. 
Friars have won 10 of the last 12 against Rhode Island, 13 of the last 19. Alley oops out for Fuchs. He's able to regain control. Shot clock now at 10. There's Montgomery, turns the corner, down the lane, runner, left it short, rebound, Hopkins. Hopkins in a hurry with Pierre. Leaves for Hopkins, stop, pop, didn't get it. And a nice rebound coming in, Zeke Montgomery oh. stolen. And it's ticket game as Porter makes things happen for Providence. 8-5, Friars. Archie Miller not happy, basically giving him two. And you see how defensive transition is key for Rhodey tonight because Hopkins and the big Dave will lead the break for Kim English. Oh, look out, look out. Carter, steal. Carter, down the lane. Hammer time. Seven for Carter, and the crowd is fired up a 10 5 fire lead. Rhodey needs a strong response here. Triple two. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. That prayer was answered. Louis Courtright under intense pressure. He's got five. Yeah, Luis Roduro. Nothing doing. That'll be a foul. Sweet pass Beautiful. off that double high ball screen. And did not think that the volume here at the amp, Dave, could go to the next level. On and off the court with Ernie. Hey, kids, after the game, go to YouTube and look up the best half court. Woo. Assist you'll ever want to see Ernie oh. DiGregorio back in the day with the great Providence team Can't final get a four. more Rhode Island feel for basketball this evening Josh Oduro already in the nightmare of Archie Miller when he was at George Mason last year with Kim English He went 24 and 14 and 27 and 6 against Rhode Island and here's a force inside. He's got five points in the Providence lead by five. You know that means, right? He was on the cover page of the scouting report. He, he, he was on page one. <laughs> he didn't make it to page two. First paragraph. In the corners, Zeke Montgomery. Carter, look how active he is on defense. Good match up. Challenger. Wow, I'm talking about his defense. They let him play. And Steve House tried to make something happen. Carter quickly sets up. And... Nathan Farrell says it went out on. They deferred to John Gaffney. Yep. Thought he had a better angle. Yep. Dave, I got to tell you, Devin Carter, Bryce Hopkins, and Kim English's new up-tempo offense get all the pub, but not enough people are talking about how good this team is defensively. They're fast. They're quick. They have length on the perimeter. They're strong in the paint, and they get after you as a group. And that's what's happening right now. As Garway dwells in the game, shot off of the ball. Yeah, Garway was banging away down low like he was on on the line of scrimmage in an <laughs> NFL game. Gaffney's going to clean that up quick. Yeah, tell him that that action starts at one o'clock tomorrow Eastern Time. <laughs> Dual with the foul, his first team fifth. The ticket game takes the seat. Troy Floyd Jr. joins the fray, number 14 for Providence. Good drop to the basket. He shot an air ball. Put back is good by Jeremy Fumina. That's what the Rams need. You're not always going to score on this fire defense with your primary options. So you need other ways to generate offense. Offensive glass, get to the charity strike sometimes, and draw fouls. This Hopkins has not had a lot of touches so far. Now the Carter, 12 on the shot clock, step back, three, it's good, and he got hit, he's looking for under the four point play, not going to happen here, he's got 10 points, I degree of difficulty, that was contested, a nice setup, and Fuchs blows the layup, he's back with the putback, nothing doing, rebound Carter, Kim English said we like to score in the first seven seconds, and we got bombing violation. Boy, we don't see that called much anymore. Not every day. I mean, this has gone to the next level. His perimeter three-point stroke from last season. He has more confidence, but that's just a tough, tough make. Rhode Island going to the bench. Joseph at Bilal at 6'10". 
Green. Sure, junior forward. Oh, that's not good. He gave him a good shot. And I think that you don't need to go down that road. Hopefully, Court right now has a mouth guard. If not, I think it's one second half. And inbound it to Fulmina. Cam Esteba is in the game right now. He's number four for Rhode Island. That's been blocked by Carter. Taken Man. down by Carter. I, I've never seen someone block more jump shots. The air, his first shot of the night. Little short. Rebound. It goes to Esteba. Perfect. Thought about running right into that shot in rhythm. Nothing doing there. Carter back the other way. Numbers not on his side. Pierre penetrates down the lane. Lay it up left hand. A little short. Kept alive. Pierre comes down with the loose ball. He's taking game for three. Nothing doing there. That's knocked out of bounds. Let's see. Let's keep it right here. Looks like it'll... And you, you felt the crowd, Dave, trying to will that one in because oh, yeah. they remember a few nights ago against Wagner picking games with the seven threes from deep, unconscious in that one. Pretty good battle there. Brandon Weston for Rhode Island. That was close. Tesco, Rafael, Rafael Tesco in the game right now. Number 30 for Providence. Reggie Jones, hotly contested early doings here at the half. Little runner left it way short. And a rebound. Pierre angry with himself that he couldn't complete that play. Pilau. Jumper from the corner, nothing there. And Providence comes up with it. After the miss by Brandon Weston. Pierre Colvin. Boy, he's talking about physical muscle his way in. A little too strong on, off the glass. They get into their action with their handoffs and their motion so quickly. You got to get back and be ready to dig in. Oh, that's a gutty play. Brandon Weston went against the bigs. He didn't care. And he went right after him. They scrap it and claw him. Every time it looks like the Friars might go on a mini run and pull away, the Rams hang around. Well, I'm talking about answering the desires of Archie Miller. They stay strong. Blowing the layup. Missed it. Badly off the glass. And a slip here. A tie-up. And it will be. Possession arrow will keep it right here. Boy, the intensity, pretty much what we expected. A four-point game, 11 and a half to go first half. Don't go anywhere. That, one of the best dynamics he has, we haven't really truly seen it yet, is when he gets into that back-end post-up mode when he knows he has a smaller perimeter right. on him and creates for his teammates. Defense has led to some poor shooting. Guys have really been getting after challenging everything. Coming down with the rebound, Raphael Castro. Rhodey shooting 5 for 17, Providence 5 for 15, Providence an 11-10 rebound edge, make that 12-10 now, there's Floyd, get in the corner, Hopkins has not had a lot of touches, step back, up top, air ball, and a rebound, coming back is Rhode Island, you're right about that, they, they've taken him out of his rhythm early, number 5 always right here to steal, go out, and knocked away. That's a fine play by the young man's name is always right. <laughs> Quick pickup. Then he tries to initiate that contact, but then it winds up being quick hands. And he's always right. And he certainly was on that play. We got that out of our system. <laughs> oh, good pressure on the defense, Ojuro. We're under 11 to go. The first half of Duro. But he might get more touches too at this point. Now he goes hard up underneath. A hook shot. Nothing doing there. And a rebound. Well, he's comfortable with both hands around the cup. Yep. Bilal had that rebound. Here's right at the point. Bilal thought about it. Now he will offer it. 
But stop nothing there. Floyd rebound. Here's Hopkins. Hard. Oh, challenge. And no call. They let him play. Hopkins is going for the big hammer dunk and nothing doing there. It was denied. Aggressive, but they stayed vertical. That wasn't pretty, and it'll be a foul on that play. Woo. Miles English the... wants an explanation on that one. Wow, doing a good job. Staying vertical there. I like the aggressiveness. Coming down this side. That's a tight one. Yeah. Well, he, he earned that foul just throwing. He was trying to get rid of the ball. He's one of those. He sold it. He got up in the air and like, what am I gonna do now? Sometimes you gotta sell it. First shot is good. Six points, five rebounds for Bilal last year. Limited action so far this year. Played 12 games. These are actually his first free throws of the season. You bet. One out of two, Floyd rebounds. Rhode Island hanging tough. Archie Miller talking to him the other day. He's concerned about the intensity, how his team is going to respond, and they've done a heck of a job. It's for him to tend to play first half. Oduro back in his way and gives it back outside. Rich Barron in the game, number 10. Floyd trying to turn the corner. Boy, that's good defense. Great defense. In the corner, Floyd may hit it right at the buzzer. Oh. Miller showing a lot of emotion because that's a killer. You play unbelievable D and then get burnt with one at the end. That defense was outstanding. Kim English was upset at first when the door kicked it back out. They want him to throw it right back in. Floyd gets caught up into a tough situation. Boy, credit Barron. Zeke, Zeke Montgomery played some terrific defense yeah. on that position possession there. Well, Barron in the right place to the corner, the best place for penetration and pitches. Carter back in, Floyd. Take a seat for Providence. 9 29 to go first half. For a little stumble there by Courtright. A little weave action out front. Turn the corner. Oh, he lost the handle. He said he was going to be good. House way outside. And Kim Ng was quite familiar with House. He tried to recruit him to come to Providence. Yeah. That's his first bucket. And a foul off the ball. Tangle House can fill this up. And. As you mentioned with Kim English speaking about him with us earlier today. He's like, listen, he's as good as any Big East guard will go against. And knowing where he is on the perimeter, knowing his mentality, he's going to look to be aggressive offensively. And actually, Kim recruited him. Kim was at George Mason. Here's Hopkins. Going left, going hard. Pump, pump. And he got it to go. Plus the foul. And I felt the first few possessions early when we were talking about Bryce Hopkins' rhythm, he was either being tentative or forcing the issue. This time, he was strong, aggressive, multiple pump fakes, kept it high, and let it come to him. Allows first. And that's a 16 foul. It's the Rhode Island Rams. Hopkins 71% at the line. Makes a three-point play. I'll tell you, when he's in the middle of the floor, he can drive you just as successfully either right or left. And you can't often say that for guys that size when they're at the top of the key. 21-15, Providence. Providence has led all the way so far. 8-38 and counting. Jump shot. Good look and stroke. Jaden House for three. He's got six points, 21-18. Monitor that situation because he can heat up and get streaky in a good way for Hopkins, the Rams. Hopkins trying to muscle his way in. Pierre, too strong. Rebound. Well, might have got away with a, a push there. And here comes Montgomery. 
Coming up on eight minutes to go, Montgomery down the lane, jump stop, looking for help. They're loud. Just, just in and out. Kept alive, and Carter comes away with the loose ball. Ferocity has really been good here. Runner in the lane. Got the friendly roll. Oduro complaining about getting knocked down to no avail. Carter with 10. David Fuchs. Boy, House got the hot hand to see if they feed him. Oh, good lead and a two-hand slam. Well done by David Fuchs out of Vienna, Austria. Carter's asking for a solid. He knocked knees on that last drive. Had a little something to do with that pick and roll defense, I think, at the other end. Providence by three. Winston a little. Here, down the lane. Hopkins. Backs it out with 10 on the shot clock. Carter down the lane and a reach around foul by House. They got him. An easy call. Well, Archie Miller was concerned about taking care of the basketball. Mike Ditka, Tony Dorsett, Terry Francona, Pete Maravich. Ken Griffey Jr. Joe Namath, Norm Van Leer. Yeah, Woo. yeah that's some great, great players. Here comes Rhode Island. Good to see Courtright in... I'll tell you what, though, you you heard him talking about the defense. Yep. The Friars have been shooting in the low to mid-30s this entire first half, and they're hanging with them on the backboards. Down the lane, Fuchs challenge, missed the layup, rebound goes to Pierre. In a hurry, here comes Providence. Got a lane, it was open, he took it in, and he made it. That was really the first time you could say URI just gave him a bucket. No one stopped the basketball. Is Montgomery teeing up a three. Great stroke as well. Tell you what, Montgomery, Courtright, and House, three of the best looking jump shots we've seen here tonight. Zeke Montgomery, another new guard that Archie Miller brought in from Bradley, can fill it up as well. That's the closest Rhodey has been. And no, oh, they get a foul. Weston thought he had all ball. Brandon Weston with the foul. You know what, that's the correct loose ball foul call by Gaffney, but they'll take that type of intensity on the perimeter. It's just this defensive transition they need to address. But you'll live with a foul like that if you're Archie Miller when you see how aggressive your guys are clamping down on the three-point arc and in. Right, and he was trying to beat, beat the pick there, yep. and he was sticking close. We like the thought. Fouls on West in his first team eighth. The one-on-one, yeah. one in effect, has been in effect. You heard him a lot in, that, in, in the huddle there that we just saw talking about, you know, meet him in the chest, yeah. make body contact. That was the theme of the shoot-around today, bodying up, beating guys to the spot, all defensive position until before the ball's in your area. Ticket game. Had it. Now Floyd will restart. Oduro in an intense battle with Fuchs here in the post. Big man going after him. Back in his way in. Goes for the jump hook. Back rim, no good. Got the rebound. New clock. Wow, tough shot off the glass. Boy, that was challenged by Montgomery. And that's the first bucket for Garway Dual. And this true freshman from the West Coast keeps showing the Oh, match. right to the cup. Oh, my goodness. What a play by Jaden House. Exploding down the hey, lane. He, he's still staying aggressive. Going head to head with these Friar guards. Eight points for Jaden House. Back to a cut. And that'll be a goal 10. That'll be a goal 10 on House. Pay a credit Floyd with the cut, but that's because Odoro is such a great passing big from out top. Why that connection takes place. Terrific ups by Jaden House. His court right. Got a pick. Nice slip pass. And De David Fuchs finishes the play. He's got four. Seen a lot of successful pick and roll offense on both ends. There's Floyd. Well, you got to earn every basket in this game. Now, House bringing it defensively. Hopkins with the touch outside. Oduro 
with six on the shot clock. Ticket game. Good. They got the nickname Big Ticket for putting up tremendous numbers in Buffalo as a high scorer. 22 double doubles, four triple doubles, and three quad doubles. I think they qualify. <laughs> Ticket games. Devante is given name. Court right. Another setup. David Fuchs. They got fouled. The pick and roll action is working really well for Rhode Island. Absolutely. Once again, able to turn the corner. And it's been Montgomery, it's been House, it's been Courtright. The biggest reason why you want your pick and roll defense to be tight and connected is for the second half. You don't want Odoro and Hopkins and your bigs being on the bench in foul trouble late. Hooks out of Austria, Archie Miller. Steph, they scouted him over there. He played against top level talent in Germany. They really liked his inside strength, which is quite evident. He knows how to use it. Good addition to the to his club. Just a 52% free throw shooter. One out of two. Three point lead for Providence. Coming up on the four minute mark. Gage Sims. Then Parisi with you here in Providence. A packed house at the end. Odoro backing in. Boy, he can't buy a bucket. He's had some really close in shots. And credit Rody because he's a handle down low. Goes over either shoulder. Back rim no good. A long jumper by Courtright. Ticket gains, leaps for a dual. Back against Hopkins. Quick step. He got in close and he made it work. You go to a Providence practice, it's such a staple of Tim English's philosophy of quick, quick ball reversals and not over dribbling. That time, that extra swing to the corner got him. What a difficult shot there. Did not go by Weston. Back the other way, Hopkins. Got space in the lane. Couldn't finish. Rebound to Fuchs. Boy, they've had some chippies right at the Ooh. basket. Three minutes to go first half. Five-point lead for Providence. Well, Courtright and Montgomery, along with House. The guard has been impressive. Really. He got a window, lays it up, missed it. Challenged by Odoro. Back the other way in the corner gains leads for Floyd. Good transition defense by the Rams. Wow, raises up a deep three. Harshly off the rim. And here comes Rhode Island down 5, 2.30 to go. Stop back, stop the basketball. Any layup or cut situation and force the deep jumper. You can't ask for more. Tim English talking about this being a tough week. These guys, Oklahoma, they got Brown. Another in-state rivalry. His boots, boy, that they are letting the big men play. Shot clock at three, at two. They didn't realize. Steal by Wow. Goes up, lay it up, got it. Such an athlete. Length, quick hands, quick first step, athleticism, and Kim English urging his group on. That leads to a quick T.O. Biggest lead of the night for the Providence Friars. 35-28. The intensity continues to build here at the M. A return for more. The stand right now. Rhode Island has had just one lead. It was 5-3 to three in the early going. Since then, it's been all Providence, but it has been a battle. It's been as close as two points. And here we go in the last 140. House has been impressive. Down the lane. In traffic. Partially blocked. Kept alive by Bilal. Saved and not saved by Providence. Ticket Gates could not get a handle on it. Rhode Island shooting 30, almost 38% from the field. 44% for Providence. They get an inbound. Just for Lena. Here's Montgomery. How about the battle? Quarter batting with, uh, battling with. Oh, yeah. Nice steal there. 
That was Floyd going up to get it. Pierre back the other way with 120 to go first half. Hopkins wants it in the paint. They can't get it to him. Carter outside. Ticket game. Floyd way outside. Boy, he's got counterclockwise rotation on that shot of his. Here's House has been impressive. Allow. Back him down. He's got the big height advantage. Oh, he's on the big again. Work his way in. Jump hook. Wow. That time. Took his time. And that comfort zone over the left shoulder. Well, that's an old school shot. A lot of these guys don't, don't use. But that was great, greatly effective. Hopkins stop his dribble. Here's Carter. 30 seconds on the game clock 12 on the shot clock hopkins stutter steps he's got eight on the shot clock looking for rome spin in the way contested nothing doing brody with the chance for the last shot down 35 30. who's going to take it good job with the scouting report they were ready for that left to right spin move there's my uh, court right takes it all the way finger roll is good that was fantastic execution of the final 17 seconds by the Rhode Island Rams to cut the deficit to three. They were down seven. Juice, they got all the energy. They have all the crowd. And they come out as, and Archie Miller was looking to see who's, he said, this is going to teach me a lot about our crew. No doubt the about The young it. guys and us collectively as a whole and that was impressive when you look at preseason coaches paul the coaches in the big east pick providence to finish seventh in the atlantic 10 roadie 14th before they're playing really well there's a turnover right there it's tough to imagine these clubs not surpassing those preseason yeah. expectations yeah. but to all these coaches credit the, the preseason coaches polls were tough enough oh yeah now you add in guys coming from other schools to where their roles have changed with the portal the, the game unknown the game has changed dramatically here's Jaden house handing off the court right providence fans on the feet that place worked all day nice layup by david Fuchs out of vienna austria that about, has really worked well. What about last year when Mark Tett was picked ninth and won the league? There you go. <laughs> that just shows you how that goes. Folks with seven is Pierre way outside. And he drains it. For a second, I didn't think he had enough legs on that one. Five points for him, 38-34. That's not his bread and butter. So if he could open up that dimension tonight, Tim English will take it. Court right has been impressive. Court right, Montgomery and House, the guards, has really done well. Here's Pierre with a steal. And he's going to take it all the way himself. Now, feet in the corner. Ticket games. No. Oh, that is. That's disappointing. And I'd be upset too if I was Kim English. Your team is in transition on the fast break. And the shot clock horn goes. Oh. Off. The clock is still frozen at. 1907 so we might have a this will take us back to the cyo days hopefully right? we don't Remember? have a technology situation <laughs> right? here think about this when we were playing cyo you know somebody's got it on the wrist that's just yeah, shout out to the backup time. on the stopwatch right exactly here's oduro now it's moving pierre got room inside oh good deflection by Fuchs. and here come the rudy rams down four Indeed, and it completed by Fuchs. Kept it high and did not bring it down. It's a lost art with post players sometimes. Fuchs with nine. Oduro has not been the scoring factor. It's Pierre lost the handle and a possession arrow. Going to give it to Rhode Island. Great spacing, posting on the block, keeps him on his backside, recognizes it, the ball pressure, not able to take away that entry pass from the top of the key. Textbook, a chance to take the lead or a tie right here for Rhode Island. Last time 
Rams led it was five to three early going. Short right, bouncing, fading, got it. Zeke Montgomery has made it a 38 all ball game at the 1746 mark. He's got five. You hear the roadie fan base. Archie Miller got multiple guys catching a little hot hand now. Let go. Lost control. Did you see it come off his hand? He shot it with the palm. He got another of a finger roll to get it to go. Odoro's got seven. There it is again. Tyson Brown only passed up the shot. He was wide open. It's House turns the corner in the lane. Contact lost it. Coach regained. Ten on the shot clock. Three minutes in. Second half. And a misconnection. Lead out. Carter. The pop of three from C. Got it. House got himself too deep into the spiders, but probably had a mid-range jury force the issue, and they get burned at the other end. 13 for Carter, foul against Providence. Nice poke from behind by Pierre. Carter with no hesitation, full confidence and green light from his head coach as well. House to foul his first. But Pierre hits foul the first and a steal by Dewell. He read that all the way. And he throws it. Hopkins finishes it. They're very fortunate to get two points there. That was a great scouting report read by Dewell. Was a tight ball game and then a blink. It's now 45 38, a 7 0 run by Providence. Right. Round down low. Whoa, man, a four shot and one. Look at that. Two minutes to go in the first half. They got themselves down seven and answered the call. And they needed a bucket in a big time way. And keep this in mind Odoro's foul, his third. That's a factor. Second team foul, so that comes at the 16-11 mark. Nathan Farrell explaining to Odoro that he came down towards the end. Didn't Brown, stay vertical the entire time. Brown just a 50% shooter at the line. Missed badly there. Rebound Carter in a hurry. Here comes Providence to get the ball up court. Tim English told us we'd like to score in the first seven seconds. And there's a foul against Rhode Island. Looks like they're going to get Tyson Brown. That'll be his third. So Brown will take a seat on the bench. And Jeremy Fumina out of Montreal, Quebec. It's about the second or third time where you had the feeling the Friars may get to a 9 to 10 point lead. But the Rams answer. Odoro going after the new guy. Just came in and then laying up on the left hand. Boy, he got nice and deep. Yeah. Made it happen. He's yeah. got nine. And you got to watch aggressive on the offensive end. He can't pick up the fourth now. Jeez. Uh, they got to go after him, wouldn't you think? Court right. Challenges. Runner. Got it. This is a lot of trust with 15 and a half minutes to go for Tim English to keep rolling with Odoro here with the three. Nine points for court, right? Here's Carter. Challenging contact. Jump ball. Session arrow, keep it right here. The intensity continues here in Providence. A five-point lead for the Friars. We've erected the problem. And we're going to play on. We'll have to do a radio call, then. Okay. Hopkins left it a key corner right side. Now, the right sideline here to, to Dwal. Penetrates, kick it outside, left side. The Hopkins, three balls, good.
Oh, there's a little technical difficulty break working well for Bryce Hopkins on the perimeter. Ten point, make that an eight-point lead. Biggest lead for Providence as we have played five minutes here in the second half. Down the lane. Montgomery gives it up to Bolau. On the right post, step in, left hand, lay it up and in. Good extension. Took his time and covered real estate with the drop step in footwork. 50 44, Providence in the lead. Wow, stutter step, change of pace, hesitation, no, put back. He missed that one too. In a hurry, House, he's not had too many touches here in the second half. Crossover, goes hard, short shot, and he got fouled. He might have taken a shot to his right quad, too. Fouls on Hopkins, his first. And for Providence, team foul number three. Jaden House to the line. He's out of Richmond, Virginia. Transferred from High Point. We didn't want to do these things with the transfer portal and everything. Seems like we run into so many teams that have four and five guys who have made the transition to other other teams, and that's certainly the case here today. First free throw is good. 50-45 Providence, 14-21 to go, second half. And this team has gotten inconsistent at times from the free throw line, including the guards. So it's another good test for our team Miller's newcomers. House left the second one short and tracked down. It's going to be Rody Ball, and then that was Pierre trying for the steal. So coming back into the game, Corey Floyd Jr. He'll pick up ticket games in a Providence lineup. And Pierre will be in the backcourt up front will be Odor, Carter, and Hopkins for the Friars. Bomina to Cartwright, top of the three-point circle. Ten on the shot clock, six minutes in, second half. Providence, five five. Cartwright challenges, goes for the reverse, lost it on the way out. Here's a break, Pierre. Hopkins wants him to level and has it taken away. The steal by Joseph Pilau. Here's the conversion by House. Can't get it. And the rebound goes to Pierre. Providence coming left to right. Stutter step. Pierre foul on left. Hopkins. Jab step. Goes baseline. Spin dribble into the lane. Pump. Hangs in the air. Shot it short. Back the rebound. Lay it up and in. That's a load to deal with. Off the bounce with his size and strength taking you to the middle of the cup. Carter, make that Hopkins, top scorer of the ball club. He's got 12, 52-45, Providence. 13-15 to go here in the ball game in regulation. Seven-point lead again. Let's see if they have another answer. In and out, court right, Carter way up top to get that rebound. They like to score in the first seven seconds. Here's Carter, make that Hopkins force in the action. Hopkins is on the ground. They stepped on him, but seems to be okay. Courtright, numbers against him. Into the lane, and a little, a lot of bump and grind. He's John Gaffney. He's going to call a foul on Jaden Pierre of Providence. That'll be his second. Team fourth for Providence. Dave. David Fuchs is going to check back in for Rhode Island. Did his own little version of Devin Carter that time. It was a little dark <laughs> yeah, back then. Right. <laughs> Tyson Brown returns for Rhode Island. So Rhode Island's got a little bit bigger with Brown, Fuchs. And two big guys in the middle with Brown, Court Wright, and Foul, setting a pick. Offensive foul. They're going to get Tyson Brown. That's his fourth. So Tyson Brown, his fourth. Archie Miller not happy. Wanted his team to just 
execute, screen for each other, call for the ball. Now yeah. that becomes a factor to keep an eye on. Speaking of fouls, keep in mind Oduro has still had the three. Yeah, and it's playing a, throughout without picking up the four. And he picked that up. That was at the 16-11 mark. Early. There's Pierre. Jeremy Fumina came in, and now Fuchs got a stinger on his right shoulder. The foul is on Fuchs. That'll be his first. And team third for Rhode Island. Carter to inbound. And a foul. They're going to get Louis, Louis Courtright. Foul number one on him. You can see Pooks walking down towards the baseline. He's trying to stretch out his shoulder. He took a couple of hits. Kurt Wright takes his lead and always uh, right is back in the game. Well. Here's Carter down the lane. Take it all the way and in. Nice look off like he was going to give it to Oduro and he took it all the way himself. You need to be aware when Oduro flashes to the high post, back cutters are coming. Point lead, biggest of the evening for Providence. And House, but it's good matchup. He and Carter. House takes it all the way, and lay it up and in. House has remained aggressive. Yeah, he's got 11. Just under 12 to play here in the second half. Dave Sims, been very see with you. This has been a beauty. Try to feed the post. As Oduro had a mismatch on right, but that's a turnover. Turnover number eight for Providence, ten for Rhodey. It's a good one. A spirited contest here in the Ocean State. It's 54, 47. As they have, you know, second in the 8-10, have 49%, and they're rolling right now this half. You know what helps those numbers? Shoot 78% from the field in the second half. There you go. Nine. Rams have brought it. Get it into always right. Just give a name A L W A Y S. Got a brother name. That's all four. right, man. That's a fourth on Odoro. That's a big number at the 1138 mark. <laughs> so Hopkins will come in. He'll, he'll pick up a uh, door pleading a case. No, he will not get any satisfaction on that one. Zeke Montgomery back in for Rhode Island. He replaced Jeremy Flamina. What do you look for in these next few minutes? Now let's see how Brody goes, handles the paint. They did it off a paint touch with dribble penetration. Al missed the layup. There's Carter. Almost walked, gave it up. Retrieved by Duval with 20 on the shot clock. You know, Rhodey's hanging with them in points in the paint, David. It's not just the bigs, it's the guards off dribble penetration as well. Carter short on the push shot. Lewis Ball, they battle for it. Who gets it? You bet. Carter in traffic. Nothing doing there. He draws, looks for contact, got contact, but they said it was not a foul. Uh, you know, he shied away at the last second, though. Go, go get those free throw attempts. Way outside, a three ball, friendly rim, no, Fuchs rebound, nothing there. He battles his teammate, takes his shot in the eye, and it's Providence ball. Wow, Brandon Weston was in there with Fuchs, and Fuchs got hit. And nobody guarded the inbound pass. Oh, nice play defensively. Hopkins turned away. Floyd Jr. in traffic. Ticket game, studies, fires, no! And a rebound goes to Brandon Weston. They Cross court to Fuchs. Big man goes hard. Can't get it. He's fouled. He gets hit again. Letting them play in a big time way. Carter with the foul. That'll be his first. I'll tell you, both of these ball clubs are sucking wind. 
And that's not a knock on the conditioning. That's a compliment as to how hard these guys have been battling. All ten guys on the floor. No question about it. They are emptying the tank. They will not be, need any persuasive policies to go to sleep tonight. And I like that the officials have realized in the second half that this physicality is not going away and they're letting them play a little bit more. Right. And that, that makes it consistent. Here's Fuchs at the line. Again, just 53% free throw shooter. And he misses again here tonight. Of course, the Providence students seeing that he's struggling. They're getting on him. Rebound goes to Rody. Phillips, he's got a mismatch. He recognizes. Dribbles off his foot. Retrieves. Gets it outside. House. Here's Cartwright. Three ball. Yes! But it's one thing to have a good look. It's another thing to make one more pass for a great look. What a decision. Under 10 to play. Second half. Four point lead for Providence and a foul on the play. House pleading his case and his teammates do a good job to tell me <laughs> pipe down take it easy foul is on folks his second the Rams refuse to go away it's impressive. Both teams. Oh, they're just selling out. Gaines. With Montgomery right in his face. New to the game. Brandon, his dual. Ticket game. Three ball. Hey now. 60 to 50. Providence, he's got seven. Right. Oh, what a pick. Give and go. Challenge. They let him play. This now really feels like a neighborhood game. A gang, a game, I should say. The guys from around the block come in and everybody. <laughs> Put your mouth guard in. Well, that was like a runaway train that time. Stood his ground. Pickett Gaines with a huge dagger. He had seven of them Tuesday night against Wagner. Here's Ray. Challenge had to get a piece of that and a foul. Jaden House picks up the. We go to the line. The Floyd with the foul, his first. 17 foul. Kim He's got to shoot three. I was a three point attempt. To Floyd, just contest the shot. You don't need to try to block it, just contest it. And it's an age old. It's an age old lesson that coaches teach all the time, and guys, they listen, but they don't ex you know, execute right. it. Everybody wants to get that block like you're back in the schoolyard. Yeah, these two student sections are going at it crowd wise. We got lots of different storylines cooking right now. Good shooter, Jaden House, 65% at the line. You got the sense, Dave, an hour before tip off when we were still in warm up mode. That Eaton Street was cooking this afternoon. <laughs> into dinner time two out of three he's got 13 points five points the providence lead with the ball at the 9 20 mark here what good switch oh mismatch hopkins recognizes take it to the glass and scores and one bryce hopkins has a look on his face like he wants to take over this basketball game. 
right now. That hard righty aggressive drive. And was welcoming getting the defender on his left shoulder. Montgomery's foul, foul number two for him, 16th foul for Rhode Island. 14 points for Hopkins. 70% at the line in the early season here, three-point play. There's some pressure by Pierre. 60-52, approaching nine minutes to go. Montgomery. And Weston changing. Here's Howe. What a pick. This man. Howe spin dribble in the lane. Tony got it. Oh, what a bucket. Wow. Big time. Here's Pierre with an answer. Spin in the lane. Contested. What a sequence. In the first half, it was House on the perimeter. He shows again that he could be just as effective off the bounce. And then Pierre, with no hesitation to attack at the other end. And this is how Kim English loves his guards to play, Dave. They don't want to walk it up and call sets. He wants them to get into trance, play that tough four-out one in motion. And I love the speed of the counterattack after that fine yeah. play. He was down here in a heartbeat, three-point play. That's a mentality he talks about often with his perimeter is push it after me. Don't be tentative and play into them controlling tempo. And like he says, we want to get it done in the first seven seconds. Flip to the goal. Down low, big man, left hand, and a friendly roll. Joseph at the wow, his seventh point of the night. Here's Pierre outside. Coming up on eight minutes to go. Pierre turns the corner. And a jet move inside. He got hit. He'll shoot a couple. Boy, he exploded. Going for the reverse layup. Didn't go for him. Pierre turned on the Jets in a big time way. Man, he's talking about short area quickness. Boy. Pierre makes the first. It is very close to returning Tuesday against Wagner with that tweaked groin injury. Yeah, I'd have you know what? An extra three days of rest served him well. Yeah, I got hurt back on the 17th of November against Kansas State. 80% free throw shooter last year. He's not had a lot of opportunities at the line so far this season. A couple knockdowns right there. Nine-point lead. What kind of response does Rhode Island have? Fifth house. Almost stolen. Weston. Rolling to the hoop. Montgomery could not hold on. 11th turnover for Rhodey. That's a great idea. And pass by Weston. Just missed it by a matter of inches on executing and connecting. Indeed, Fuchs is back in. He'll replace Brandon Weston in Rhode Island. Five on the floor. Pierre Hopkins. You get Carter, Gaines, and Floyd. And a foul. Oh, Louis Courtright. We got a timeout at the eight minute mark here in a. Pierre's having a great early season at the free throw line. 10 for 10. I didn't want to totally jinx him. <laughs> well, I'm not a jinx guy. I thought guy. for sure the broadcast yeah, yeah. jinx was coming. Nah, I don't believe in that stuff. A guy's throwing a no hitter, he's throwing a no hitter. You got to talk about hey, it. Hey, you didn't think that Providence could extend. To a double digit lead. But the fast break points has been the difference. 13 0 in that department. Biggest lead of the night for the Providence Friars. Let's see if Rhode Island's got another good run in it. I think House. Oh, look at this matchup. House against Carter. You're talking about ferocity. Down low. House going hard. Left hand, left and short. Rebound. Galau kept it alive, jumping on the floor, Galau, that's fantastic hustle. Woo!
I'll tell you what, it was great switching defense initially by Providence. Right. You got Hopkins moving his feet with the guard on the perimeter. Carter banging with the post down low and fronting. And then it's just bodies flying. Rody, baby blue uniforms hitting the ground first. Well, no one thing after talking to Archie Miller earlier in the awakening, he was saying he was concerned to see how his team would handle this atmosphere. They're doing a heck of a job. No doubt. But right now, they need a run. 67. Get a 56. Close enough for the home stretch and final media segment. What do you think their go to guy is going to be here? I think they're going to do it by committee. That's when they've been at their best, turning the corner on these handoffs and pick and rolls. Montgomery under duress, nothing there. Rebound Carter in a hurry. Here comes Providence. Here, got a window. Leaders for Hopkins! <laughs> 17 for Hopkins. I.T. Miller trying to stop the flood. 69 56, Providence. Biggest lead of the evening. Wow. Jaden Pierre. <laughs> 15 for Jaden House, 15 for Carter, 15 for Hopkins. The leading scores. What's Rhode Island gonna do to answer to get back in at the seven minute mark? Fuchs up top, 15 shot clock. Court right, shake, get deep, and not get a bounce, keep it right here. They'll have 10 on the shot clock. Duwal back in the game, and he picks up Jaden Pierre. Nice game by him. Good to have him back. Providence deserves that ovation. House. Flares out. Archie Miller making a play call. Deep jack with two on the clock. Oh my goodness. A fadeaway from another zip code 69 59. Arch is saying, what are we waiting for? Someone set a ball screen for him, let him operate. The house took matters into his own hands. 18 for him. Carter on the far side. He turns the corner, back pass, ticket, gains, nothing, having a tough shooting night, rebound, goes to court right. Big possession right here for Rhode Island. Approaching six minutes to go, down ten. They don't have a lot of time to be passing the ball on the perimeter. They gotta get some shots. High percentage one that that. Runner and lane like got that. it. <laughs> Nicely Take done up. by Zeke Montgomery. Two feet in the paint, turn the corner. Little floater will take that every time down the stretch. Way too right. early to start launching. Yeah, indeed. It's Carter. Takes the body. Oh, Lee Mackerel. That was lovely. With the right hand on the reverse. Those are the plays that make him a matchup nightmare because he's playing so bigger than his six foot three frame. That won't go. Could not convert Tyson Brown. Hopkins pump they got free finger roll. 73-61, 509 and counting. 19 for Hopkins. Fuchs has a mismatch down low. They find him. He catches. He puts it in. Converts. David Fuchs. With the bucket for Rhode Island, he's got 11. It's the second or third time we've seen Fook successful at reposting and adjusting in that high-low action they like. A 10-point lead for Providence. Carter got to the bucket again. English didn't work for him, and the ball knocked out of the hands of Hopkins. They call a foul. Another crafty drive by Carter with the hesitation connecting. Hopkins has been a man on a mission. 
this second half. Boy, the late great Pete Newell would be so enthralled with the footwork by the big man on that play right there. It's been clean and quicker footwork from last year, it seems. 19.6 rebounds, make it 20 points for Hopkins. I mean, he takes the most free throws, and it's not even close. Right. I mean, he, he enters tonight 51 from the charity stripe. The next highest free throw attempts is 26 wow. with Carter, which is, you would think that would be higher than with how crafty he is. But it's nice when you're... One of your bigs is shooting 70% as well. Adoro back in the game. The center spot for it. They challenge him. Throw it up. Nothing there. Rebound Hopkins numbers. 4 on one It's a breakaway. Lay it out. Count it. Tough to defend coast to coast with that size, strength, and speed. Four on one. Four minutes to go, 13-point advantage. They go alley-oop, nothing there. Turning point in this game, starting to get away. Providence starting to really squeeze them out right now. Carter probing, ticket game. That could be the biggie. Biggest lead of the night for the Flyers. That could be the backbreaker, and you have to make a decision with your defense. Do you help on the pick and roll, or do you guard off with James in the corner? Tough shot. Louis Cartwright went right at Oduro, but it might be a little too late. They need stops, and they need conversions. Probably the doing a really good job here. The clock is the Friars' friend. Whoa. Carter figures, why not? Kim English just, <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> Hoist that one up. <laughs> you have to help or help. Hopkins 7 of 10 in the second half, and that trio combined 16 for 30 from the field. Three eleven to go here in regulation. And a 14-point lead. And the Rams in deep of trouble. Biggest lead has been 16 points. Nice shake. Flip shot, nothing there. The court right working his way. And inside is Firmino. Now you got to get up with pressure. Floyd. And... Not a surprise, Rody trying to pick pick him up in pressure time, really running out on him. Coming up in the two and a half minute mark. Duwal in no hurry. Carter always in a hurry. Seven on the shot clock. Duwal, oh, nice shake. Gets to the basket, goes glass and scores. At left to right cross. It started to become one of the freshman's favorite moves. Ticket Gage was looking for help, didn't get any help. He draws the foul on a good execution there by Louis Courtright. Stops the clock with 2.12 to go. And Ticket is like, hey man, I trying to thought you had me. this one out. Corey Floyd takes his seat. Pierre, Gaines, Hopkins, Oduro. How about the fact that they survived Oduro picking up his fourth foul at 11.38 mark, yeah, was but never hurt? Shot. He was out. Yeah, Carter's just relentless. The foul is on Montgomery, his third. It's not often when your facilitator offensively is your second leading overall rebounder on the club, but Carter has a nose for the ball as good as anyone in the country. 
And I certainly can understand why Kim English said he's the most fierce competitor, the hardest playing dude I've ever seen. And, you know, Kim English is a very good guard in Missouri, a lot of success there. He's seen a lot. Yeah. But, boy, that that is just one heck of a rave about Devin Carter. Here's Oduro at the line. 83 for center here in the early season. You look at his numbers where he went 24 and 14, 27 and 6 last year with George Mason against Rhode Island. Not quite those numbers, but his presence certainly felt here. A lot of fouls, but he's got 10 points. He's been solid in the paint. Two minutes left in this ball game. And they're going to get a foul. Weston draws the foul. Gaines, his second. Well, this crowd certainly has been entertained. A, a, a decent amount of drama in this game. And while it was still close, if you look at Archie Miller and Rhode Island's upcoming schedule. Another in-state game against Brown University. Brandon Weston at the line, transfer from Seton Hall. Five players on this Rhode Island club. Transfers brought in by Archie Miller and his staff. Weston's a shooter that could fit in well to this system this year. Got that three-point stroke he's known for. And it across is Pierre. In the corner, nice. Hopkins is gonna dunk. It's all icing now. Yeah. It's eventually down the stretch here in the second half, they wore him down with the yeah. strength, physicality, and athleticism. And again, the fast break point. He did such a great job. With fast break point. Here's Carter sure. with another rebound. Carter 15 and 10 tonight, his third double double this season. Pierre really pushes tempo. That's what he got this thing going. Well, with 134 in this game, no longer in doubt. They are if they keep it on a, somebody's watch the rest of the way. Running down the final minute and change here. Oduro, three ball, short. Carter kept the last Carter rebounds. He's relentless. <laughs> Final minute of play. Well, ben, this game pretty much lived up to what we expected. Oduro has it knocked away. Stolen. Estevez, Riora stepping. How about Oduro coming? back defensively to knock that out of bounds. Nice play. Playing as hard now as they did the first two minutes Seriously. of the ball game. But that's that shoot stuff for Devin Carter. Carter, back to back games, double double. Weston. Rebound, Odell had it, lost it, and Hopkins comes up the loose ball, and this will go into the record books. Crowd, remaining crowd on its feet. Enjoy this show. A hotly contested game, and this one is going to go. On the winning side of the Providence Friars, 84-69 of the final. That's a good one. I'll tell you, Archie Miller didn't know. Really. 
first two road tests what his new roster was going to bring and they brought it here this evening this score is not indicative Kim English's club though just